Hey, hey, hey everyone, I'm Tierra Sharde. I'm back with another banger, okay? Look, <laughs> let's just get into it. This message is for my cosmic wombs, my priestesses, my oracles, my medicine women, okay? My shamans, my beautiful, beautiful goddesses who are on your journey and um, you're striving for elevation and expansion. Um, many of you, you know, you're rising as a matriarch of your family, as the leader of your family. And there was, a f there were many messages coming in for you. And I wrote a few of them down and hopefully, um, I remember the other ones that were just kind of coming in for the past few hours now. And I'm just now ready to like, record a video for y'all so let's see so cosmic wounds my priestesses um if you if you're tuning into this video right if you're tuning into this message this is for you let this be confirmation and consolation that you're not crazy, that you're on the right track, that you are moving forward on your journey, and that um, you know you're doing really well. I feel like that's important for us to hear cosmic wombs and the priestesses and oracles out there. It's important for us to hear that, and I don't feel like we often do. So I, I just want to start with that. But um, let's see. Let me just. Let me go over what I wrote down and then some messages will flow through like they always do, okay? The divine wants you to start working with your hands, okay? Um, many of you are naturally called to herbs. You could have definitely studied herbs. You could very well be a herbologist right now in this moment or you know about healing. You create yoni steams or holistic skincare products. Um, some of you are caretakers or mothers or partners and you know when you're in the kitchen you chef up something that's magical and healing the divine wants you to continue doing that and also seeing what it is that you can create with their hands that maybe you haven't already um we spoke about this in previous videos right many of you are meant to be authors right you're meant to do, 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 right you're meant to write something your pen game is sick okay it's wicked you're so talented is so good at what you do so many of you you're needing to pull out those old journals see what you have written pull out those you know old files on your laptop look at what you have created okay many of you you're going to be called to heal with your hands so you know you could be in reiki you could be talented with that but i feel like some of you have like the spiritual gift, the laying of hands. As soon as you touch somebody, you're able to heal them or you're able to diagnose them spiritually. Um, the divine wants you to do that. Continue, continue to do that. And even if it shifts, right? So maybe, you know, you've been doing Reiki for a while. You don't want to really do Reiki, but you want to teach. That's That goes hand in hand, right? <laughs> hand in hand. That's, you know, that's what we're talking about here, okay? There was also something coming through about um, moms and daughters and that whole dynamic. I feel like some of my high priestesses out there, you may be hesitating moving forward on your path because you're worried about what mom or grandma is going to say or you're worried about judgment coming to you. For some of you, you've been bumping heads with your mother or a maternal figure for a long time and... I don't know if you realize how that's actually affecting your spiritual gifts and your ability to create and produce the things that you're wanting to create and produce or live the life that you're wanting to live. There needs to be a healing between you and your maternal bloodline in this hour, like right now, okay? Do your inner child work. Also do your inner mother work, right? That's big. We talked about that in the Embodying the Goddess Transformation Program to heal that dynamic because um, you're literally the newer model of your maternal bloodline, of your mother. And you're here to really, y'all, pave a new way, right? A whole new 
family legacy. Um, that's literally what you're here to do. We also talk about that in the Pussy Portal program. Y'all, we one of the modules is ancestral liberation and liberating the maternal bloodline. And we liberate them because they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. Many of them have had to hide their spiritual gifts, hide their knowing. It was life or death situations where they had to do that. Many of them had to hide their, um, you know, their sexual traumas and so much shame that they had to suppress. And because they've suppressed all of that stuff, many of you priestesses and goddesses, you are like carrying that within you. You're holding on to that. You're holding on to the traumas and the spiritual gifts. So it's important to tap in and heal that area so that you can be all that you're meant to be and so that you can fully be crowned as the new matriarch of your family. I feel like some of you may be um, in kind of like a push and pull energy or there's some sort of struggle that I'm sensing, some sort of conflict between you and who you're meant to be in this life as well as you know your your mom your grandma your maternal bloodline and who you're meant to be okay so there's that whole relationship dynamic that's needing to be healed and you know we go into the pussy portal that sacred cosmic space where you could be in the presence of the most high and the goddess and you are the goddess right we go into that space to address those um traumas those um concerns abuses we go in there to retrieve our spiritual gifts from the bloodline, from the maternal bloodline and paternal too, but we really focus on the maternal for the most part, okay, in the program. But you're needing to heal that within yourself, okay? Radical self-love, intentional self-pleasure to tap into that space and it activates you. It activates the maternal bloodline, okay? It heals that energy that's in you right because you are your ancestors you hold that energy within you so imagine holding 30 40 50 60 years of trauma and suppression within your being right imagine that so you're needing to heal that okay and um that's that's what the goddess that that's what mother father god is trying to relate to you in this hour also to let go of the past so this could absolutely pertain to the maternal bloodline, right? Many of you, you may have like some sort of animosity towards your, your mom, your parents in general, um, but towards your mother, right? You're viewing her as this, as your mother and this, this big being when really she's just a woman who had children and was just like trying to figure it out, honey. Okay. So there's, there's a need to not, um, enable and not um, sweep anything under the rug as it pertains to your mom and your maternal bloodline and your family, but also remove judgment, blame, and guilt because that's that's weighing you down. And many of you, I feel like you're asking, why can't I elevate or why it's so hard to move forward or why I'm always repeating these cycles? It's really because you're, you're holding on to the past trauma, whether that's your own or whether that's your maternal bloodline, it's it's coming through to the forefront, and it's you know it's it's causing um, it's causing some conflicts within you. I'm also sensing somebody is holding on to a romantic relationship, um, whether that's a current one or it's an ex, it's a past relationship, some trauma that has happened to you, or um, some situation that has gone on. You're holding on to that from the past. And I feel like some of you are holding on to relationships that um, that have brought you down or that relationships that are lowering your frequency and your vibration. So it's harder for you to elevate. And that's not at all to blame your partner, right? Because I, you know, when in one-on-one -on -one sessions, I share that with you. Don't blame your partner, right? You made the choice like they made the choice to be in this union. But now that you have this awareness, what are you going to do? Okay, are you going to stay in the partnership and be suppressed? Are you going to address it with your partner? Are you going to see where you can grow? Are you both going to move on? Like what needs to take place? And if you have not already thought about that, do so right now. 
And if you have not um, been making a decision, say that you've been procrastinating in making a decision, you're going to want to do that now, okay? And the other thing that I was getting that's also a big part of my journey, y'all, is past life persecution. Some of you are um, hesitating and in, in, in operating in your fullness because of a past life situation that you that you encountered that you're still carrying, you're still carrying that trauma and it's affecting your throat chakra, it's affecting your heart. It's also affecting your sacral, I just, I just heard and I saw a lot of yellow. So it's affecting your sacral chakra, your, your confidence, your drive, how you show up in the world. Some of you are needing to wear a lot more yellow. Um, some of you are needing to um, do your affirmations and your ask affirmations and talk to yourself in the mirror, um, dancing in the mirror, looking at your body. That was one of the big things that helped me heal and become more confident and assertive within myself. Because I was like, okay, Shawnee looking good, all right? You know? <laughs> and be playful just like that. Be playful when you're looking in the mirror and dancing and loving up on yourself because somebody really needs to work on that solar plexus. And that also pertains to inner child, right? It pertains to um, how you were treated as a child because I feel like somebody's light was dimmed down in childhood and you're still carrying that with you, all right? You're still carrying some of that energy with you. So, uh, you know, it's a beautiful time for the priestess, for the oracle, for the shaman, for the light worker, the shadow worker. Right now, 2022, 2022 is such a good time for you because the celestial family is here, star family is here, ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels, they, they out here. They're willing and ready and just want to help you so bad, but you're needing to tap in. I feel like some of you, see, this is what I'm getting right now. Some, some of you are really focused on love and relationship and being with someone and needing that and marriage and kids. And you're just, it's what you're yearning for, or it's, 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 it's taking up too much of your energy and your time. That's what's coming in right now. It's, it's really clouding your judgment because you're focused on marriage, 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 family, family, family. Okay. I gotta, I gotta meet the person. I gotta do this. I'm a twin flame. So I gotta focus on, and it's like, uh, -uh. no, 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 no. The divine really just wants you to focus on yourself. <laughs> That's it. Yourself before your partner, before your kids, before your grandma. Yeah, you got to focus on yourself right now because the high priestess in you must be activated now. She has to come online now. There's no more delay. It's time for you to walk in, into your purpose and operate in the fullness of who you are. For many of you, that means letting go of that job, you know, being strategic and planning and mapping it out, but letting go of that job, letting go of that old neighborhood, letting go of that old partner and those toxic ways if, if you have been attached to those, right? Um, because the divine is really, really, really pushing someone out there, I can feel it, pushing you to elevate, 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 go, go, go. Be in the spotlight. Put yourself out there. Yes, do it. No more hiding. No more hiding. Okay? I feel like some of you may be afraid of the persecution, but also afraid of what comes with carrying the crown of priestess and goddess and matriarch. It's a lot of responsibility. Absolutely. I'm not going to even sugarcoat it. It's a lot of spiritual foundations and spiritual practices and cleansing and prayer and meditation and pussy portal and a lot of inner work it's a lot of that yes you but you want to rule right many of you you want to be queen you want to be goddess it comes with responsibility okay as soon as you said yeah i i'm ready okay i'm ready to wear the crown the divine was like all right we'll bring in the shit <laughs> bring it in honey because this is a part of the rules. Like, this is a part of your role. Yeah, you got to navigate psychic warfare. Yeah, you got to navigate spiritual attacks. Yeah, you have to navigate energies and regulate your chakras and cleanse your energy all the time and call back your energy. All Yes, that's the role. But it's also beautiful. It's divine. It's also very sacred. It's also 
very um a very blessed and charmed path you bypass a lot of fuckery once you commit to who you are once you commit to your destiny so i want to say that y'all know me i don't give you sprinkles and sparkles without also giving you the real it all comes with it it all comes with it so i i want you to have a clear head right um walking into this some of you it's like okay you chose this path when you was a soul in the ethers and when you got down here, you were kind of like, well, wait a minute now. I don't I don't know about this, right? For those of you who resonate with that part, it's still your assignment, baby. <laughs> you still signed up for it. So some of you don't have a choice. And coming up, like how the energies are coming in and how um, the messages are also coming in, pretty soon you're not going to have a choice but to be that high priestess and that shaman and that herbologist and the medicine woman. You're not gonna have a choice. You're just gonna get the call and you gotta show up and you can't say no, right? You cannot say no. This is your destiny, it's your purpose and you've been in a lot of training for this, okay? For those who resonate with this, you've been in training your whole life for right now, right? To step into your power to ascend to the throne, right? Grandma's transitioning. The, the, the people in your family, they're elders now. Um, you have this elevated consciousness. You have this awareness for a reason. You can't escape that. You can't, you can't run from this anymore. It's time. I've, I'm feeling like, you know, many of us, <laughs> us, have been running from this path because we're like, whoa, 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 this is too much, or I can't do this. Like, they made fun of me when I was a little girl. I can't show up and be a leader and be a boss. Like, I can't run a temple or I can't run a ministry. I can't open up my healing center. Like, uh, no, I'm, you, somebody is viewing, your, you're viewing yourself like you were a little girl. You're viewing yourself small. You're not seeing yourself as a grown ass woman who has experienced wisdom, knowledge, skills, who has been places, who has met different types of people. You're not seeing yourself in the fullness of your divinity. And there's a need for you to do so in this hour, okay? So that is all my beautiful cosmic wombs, my priestesses, my goddesses. I love you so very much. Your soul tribe, I am you, you are me, all right? Allow me to be a guide for you. Allow me to be an example for you. If you resonate with my energy, click on the esoteric shop linked in the description box to contact me. We also have um, the Pussy Portal program, which starts February 22nd. If you resonate with this video, then the program was literally created for you. Okay, so make sure you, you contact me, make sure you sign up. And also make sure you click on the link to Amazon so that you can read Ancient Future Unity, y'all. My chapter in there is called The Pussy Portal, Healing with Pleasure, okay? I let you know where this came from. I tell you how I was called. I tell you about the maternal bloodline and why this work is so vital and so necessary, all right? And I love you all. Have a good evening. Peace and love.